Hey guys, welcome to the show. We're talking Olympics football here at Picks of the Day men's side. And we've got four matches that we're going to run down today uh, with Jamie James. JJ is a winner, is here in the studio. Oh God, I'm so fired up today, Natalie. I don't even know where to begin. Uh -huh. I've been on a bit of a bad run, haven't I? The last... Uh... The last plays, I don't know my record's coming up there, it but coming up. it's coming up great. The, the men lie, women lie, figures don't. But I'll tell you what, I'm so fired up about these games today and we're going to get the job done. Yeah, and I tell you what though, um, your, your win-loss ratio, you've got a lot more losses at the moment, so mm -hmm. reckon not doing well. But your ROI is in the positive, so well, you've not lost money, that's the main thing. Well, that's the main thing, not to lose the money, but it's not good enough for me. I am the self-proclaimed best handicapper in the world and I'm not doing good enough, but I'm going to get that sorted today, betting the beautiful game in the Olympics. What more do you want? All right, let's start now. Very excited. Honduras versus Portugal. Now, mm. Portugal were the underdogs in the competition when, uh, in the match when they played Argentina. Yeah. Now, Argentina even failed to score. Portugal could be the dark horse. Obviously, it's a very different team than the team that won for Euro 2016. Yeah. Uh, I like them a lot here, uh, but it's low. 1.3 there on the money line. Draw six, William Hill. Honduras, 12. I am going to take the Portugal win, but to squeeze that little bit of value going on the handicap market minus one and that's two with Paddy Power. I think they can get the job done but I think that Honduras could prove a bit of a problem. Obviously they beat uh, Algeria 3-2, yeah. not possibly in the same league as Portugal. Mm. Uh, I, I think I'm going for the Portugal win. Well I am as well actually on the same side of you, not on the win. I wouldn't ever play those stupid odds. I'm taking the uh, <laughs> minus, uh, I wouldn't do a captain obvious. Uh, minus one, so I'm just getting over two. But, you know, Portugal got a very professional setup, no matter what standard they are. Uh, and uh, Honduras can be really fired up because, mm -hmm. I mean, this is like their pinnacle of the, um, you know, their, what they do. Um, so I think it'd be a very, very interesting game. But I have to take Portugal, extract as much value as I can. I'm going to take them minus one. All right, so there we okay. have it. And that's uh, Group D. Moving over now, Germany versus Korea Republic mm. uh, from Group C. What a performance uh, did Korea Republic put in. They beat Fiji, albeit um, the, the underdogs of the whole competition. But a whopping 8-0. Did you watch that match? Oh, no, absolutely not. I never. I mean, why would I watch <laughs> it was that? Like goal I mean, after goal after goal. Goals, goals, goals. <laughs> no, I, I missed that one. But no, I, I missed that game. But I did see, actually... Uh, I was in Hooters yesterday and I did see um, the Germany-Mexico uh, yeah. game. Um, Almost lost Germany. Yeah, and I was on Mexico as well. I had them like um, the plus 275 there on the American uh, odds there. And uh, yeah, they let me down. Um, but yeah, Germany... Um, yeah, I mean, what, what do you think? What, what are you playing? Germany's 1.5, so that's really low. Uh, draws 4, William Hill, and Korea uh, Republic 6.5, Paddy Power. Do you know, I'm undecided on this one. I'm not going to give an official pick. However, mm. I do like... The over 2.5 goals, 1.57, yes, low. Both teams to score 1.57, okay. yes, also low. But you can combine them over at Bet365. It gives you a combination odds of about 1.8. So you can pay those both together. Mm -hmm. um, Still undecided on that one, or the over 3.5 goals, 2.5 Paddy Power. Again, none of those official, so... Well, I've got an official one. Go on. I'm on Korea. Are you? I mean, really am, I think. I mean, what the, what's the value I'm getting on that one? 6.5. Absolutely. All day long, I'm going to be smashing their uh, Korea. <laughs> uh, Germany, I mean, they're not as good as... Uh, they did very, very True. well to come back, but I mean... Um, I don't know. Korea, the South Korea are very, very good team. They're very well organized. Uh, the people are fired about their soccer team in the Olympics. A very uh, strong soccer nation. And I really believe they're going to give Germany a run for their money. And me being Mr. Value, I have to take South Korea to win. All right, Mr. Value, JJ is a winner is his Twitter handle. Let us know um, in the comment section, are you, which one are you going for, Germany or Korea Republic? Uh, pretty torn there. Next, Argentina versus Algeria. Um, Argentina, like I said, failed to get on the scoring board when they played Portugal. They were the favourites. Low in this match, 1.44. Again, though, they are against a sort of a competition underdog. 7.5 um, is for the Algeria win. What are you going for? I think Argentina's going to bounce back. Yeah, it has to be Argentina. I mean, uh, I mean, a captain obvious will love that. Uh, I'm obviously not going to play on a captain obvious uh, money line. I'll be doing that on the handicap. Uh -huh. uh, so what will I be getting for that one? I'm doing the handicap as well. Argentina minus one, 2.25 with Paddy Power. That's a, re that's a really good line, isn't it? Not bad, it? is no, it? Really, no, I, I mean, I'd be expecting that needs to be below 1.90. Yeah, yeah. Um, don't know, actually, that sounds a bit too good to be true. But no, all, all jokes aside, no, I really, really do love that play. You have to really play that. I mean, I don't see the upset there coming from Algeria. The last play, I can genuinely see an upset. You don't just bet the underdogs because you think 
um, just for the sake of doing it. If you bet underdogs all the time, you will lose your money. It's about finding your spots. And I do not see the underdog spot there. That is why I have to take Argentina on the handicap minus one. I'm fired up about that one. Ooh, Adieu, we're on the same page this week. We are, but I've got to start. Kind of strange. I've isn't got it? to start tailing it. Yeah. Look at your record, look at my record. <laughs> Captain Obvious is loving it. All right. <laughs> Finally, Sweden versus Nigeria here. Um, this is the closest match of all the ones that we have covered today on mm -hmm. our rundown. Obviously, each of these matches will be chopped up as well. If, you, if you're just tuning in to Sweden versus Nigeria, go check out the other four matches uh, that we have done on our YouTube channel. And this is JJ. JJ is a winner. Has been previewing them with me today. Nigeria, 2.7. Sweden, 2.5. And then the draw, 3.3. Now, obviously, Sweden drew two, um, two all to Colombia. Mm -hmm. Nigeria won five. Four to Japan. Yeah. Uh, so it's a very close matches here. And you know, I'm half Swedish. Are you really? Yeah. Well, I would never would have guessed with your surname that. <laughs> Did that I, I've got I've got to take there. I have to take Nigeria there to win. Are you? Nigeria, very, very strong team. They're very, very fit. These guys are very, very strong. They're very organized. Again, they're a great uh, soccer nation. Mm -hmm. And I really believe that I'm getting them as the underdog, right? No, yeah, no, no, no. Nigeria is the favourite. Nigeria is the favourite. Okay, yeah, yeah. We, we, well, I mean, I, I'm surprised by that as well. But no, no. I really think that's uh, actually no, 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 no. Sorry, hang on a sec. I think I've got to go and check my. I think I, I think I, it might be three point five for Sweden, but no, Nigeria are the favourites two point seven. Yeah, no, you, you're right. Yeah, of course you are. Uh, no, but I have to play uh, Nigeria there at two point seven. I think that yeah. again is really, really good value. That's why I'm really genuinely fired up about these plays. We're getting some really, really good value. And but, but amazing, we're getting goals here. Like yeah. that's when we haven't actually seen goals for like a little while. Like Euro 2016 was disappointing, I think, with the with the sort of the general uh, goal mm -hmm. performances. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering again, not official on this one. Over three point five goals, two point seven five Paripa. Both have shown they can score. Both have yeah. shown they concede. Or you've got uh, similar to what I was going through in the other match there, combining both teams to score and the over 2.5 goals for about the odds of like yeah. 1.8. And bear in mind the players are younger in the Olympics, aren't they? It's an under 23 event apart from the three yeah, uh, I think players. Sort of go, so I think them. the guys are maybe more attacking. They're on the well, world um, stage. The great thing as well with the soccer that's played against, uh, around the whole of Brazil, it's not just in Rio. And yeah, I watched that game yesterday and uh, it, was it was a really, really good game. You know, uh, Germany, Mexico is a really, really good game and uh, really, really fired up about it. And me being Mr. Value, I'm absolutely loving all this. I think, but the book is going to get a good bashing. Woo, there we go. So those are a run down there. Jamie James, JJ's winners, his Twitter handle, he, where he posts all his uh, all his bets there. Quite an active uh, Twitter, twi Twitter person. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments description below. And we'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Always on the go? Bet365 has one of the top mobile platforms in today's market. Sign up today and don't let your busy life keep you out of the game.